President Trump is naming a former pharmaceutical executive and a four-star general to lead Operation Warp Speed, the White House initiative to accelerate development of a coronavirus vaccine. It's a scientific, logistical, and military endeavor all at once, and the president will um, reveal to the country the two people who will be helping to lead the effort. The Centers for Disease Control has now released one-page reopening guidelines for schools, restaurants, and mass transit. It's a less detailed version of the original 63-page report, which the White House described as too prescriptive. Detailed protocols are needed to ensure the safety of whether it be children or adults in the workplace or children at camp or schools. The FDA is warning of possible accuracy concerns with a rapid test from Abbott Labs after an NYU study found it could miss up to 48 percent of infections. There are some data to suggest that there may be inaccuracies, false negatives with the Abbott test. However, there are many users who have contacted us and have not had this problem. So FDA is digging into it. The Trump administration is already threatening to veto a $3 trillion relief package the Democratic-led House is expected to pass today. We just spent $3 trillion. A lot of that money is not even in the economy. We're taking the next few weeks to carefully continue to execute getting the money in the economy, and then we'll, we'll see. House Democrats say state and local governments and millions of Americans can't afford to wait. Today we see lines for food banks across the country that go for miles and miles. Parking lots are so full at some of these places that they look like some kind of gathering for a major sporting event. Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says the bill will not pass the Senate, but he agrees another stimulus package is likely needed. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House.